Hey guys, Marcus here from BlackOvis.com. I'm here at ATA 2023 in Indiana. I'm here with Wes at Redline Archery. Now, Redline has done some cool things to make some updates to existing products, and we're here to talk about them. So right in front of us, we have the torch. Wes, what can you tell us about it? So the Torch is the brand new site for 2023. Uh, we just launched in uh, December. The main aspects of this is just really how it's built and all the extra things that are there for you, you know, as a hunting site. You know, this is kind of that, that introductory into even like a target site that we've been kind of messing with, but we are a bow hunting, red line bow hunting. Yep. And that's why we created this one. This has a built-in sight light. That's kind of the main thing right there. You got a four stage uh, rheostat light there. It also came comes with the second pin. So that second pin is uh, the 15,000th size. Mm -hmm. Your top pin is your standard 19,000th. So still in that hunting realm, you're still able to reach out and touch something and not have a pin. And that second up. pin is adjustable too, correct? It is, yeah. Right back here, you have a good, probably about an eighth, maybe a quarter inch of adjustment. So you'll awesome. be able to, if you have it 20 for your top pin, you could go all the way down, depending on your speed, down to 40. Awesome. Yep, next thing up is really that big gear. It makes this very, very smooth. And this is actually adjustable for how much tension you would want and how fast or how smooth you'd want this to go up and down. On top of that, your windage, you have brass um, gears in here. So that's all self-lubricating. Gonna constantly give you that smooth left and right with a micro adjust. Um, after that, we also provided uh, 40 metal tapes. So there's not a lot of sights out there. That's right? a lot of metal tapes too. It is, yeah. So you're gonna get 20 in there front and back. Um, and tapes are something I've always struggled with. And actually with my bow right there, it, I was able to find a tape that was metal awesome. and it works perfect. Um, on top of that, not only do you have your, uh, your stuff right here, so your standard sight tapes, right? Yep. You also have it on top here on the wheel. And with that, you have these little quick adjustments that you can take on and off, put it wherever you want it. Yep. And uh, yeah, big. I like, I like the idea that you can have a sight tape in this in this front area, but also on the wheel, just because you're in so many different hunting situations where you can't actually move your bow to the side sometimes to see what's on the other sure. side. Or So to have both options, I think is super smart and cool of you yeah, guys. Thank you, yeah. I mean, and even the locking mechanism being right there on the wheel, uh -huh. where my thumb can literally just go right there without looking, because my thumb automatically wants to go here to move this up and down, boom, easy locking. And it's one of the only locking as far as a site where when I lock it, it doesn't move. It's yeah. pretty sweet. Um, on top of all that, this is the first product coming from Redline Bow Hunting that has been uh, developed with Project Red. So Project Red is something that we are doing big here at ATA. We are bringing the dealers into our further innovation for further products. So not all products will get that Project Red stamp, but yeah. the big products that we have coming out, I mean, we're talking to all of our top dealers that are actually listening to their customers, what the customer wants, because honestly, if they're if they're customer satisfied, we're satisfied. Yeah. That means we're helping the dealer out. So Absolutely. we want those dealers that are dealing with people every single day to give us that feedback. Yeah, that's super cool because as you know, like we get we get questions all the time about different archery products, different sites, how do I adjust this? What can I do? And the fact that you guys are incorporating that into the design of your future products, I think is exactly what we want to see and what customers want to see at the end of the day. That's great. I appreciate that. Thank you, Wes. Let us know if you have any comments or questions. If you do, comment below or give us a call. Thanks for tuning in.